I want to further emphasize my definition of turtling because most glads I've witnessed turtling stay rooted to the ground for extended periods of time. But the goal of turtling is to deflect the opponent's sword back at him in order to stun him. There's a difference between deflecting a hit and recoiling an opponent's slash. Most glads, even many in the top tier, spend a great deal of time in the fight blocking to deflect hits, instead of recoiling the slash of their opponents and attacking more straightforwardly. You recoil your opponent's slash the moment you occupy the space in which a sword attempts to transition into. This moment of impact lasts no longer than the blink of an eye and the minimum amount of time it takes to stun the opponent is the duration from idle position to a held block less than half a second so rooting yourself to the ground and holding block for more than half a second is simply an excess consumption of time space and energy revealing a lack of efficiency and sophistication. Why turtle for more than half a second if it takes less time? Why not use that time to attack or better position yourself instead? Most turtlers and their counterintuitive attempts to stun their opponents while staying rooted to the ground contain mixed feelings. They begin with the intention of stunning the opponent but if they fail, which happens very often, they must immediately redirect their focus on escaping the opponent's attacks instead. They become forced into having to deflect hits, otherwise take them. Rooting to the ground restricts mobility and momentum. Outside of the gladiator norm, you'd be exposed to flipping and long-range attacks from the likes of guns and rocket launchers. A sense of touch principle is that a truly strict turtler camouflages his intent so well that the opponent doesn't even notice that he's turtling until right before or at the moment of interception. In my previous turtling video, I'm attacking for the most part. Sporadically, as I move in to intercept my opponent, I raise and hold block just for a split second while maintaining quick movement. If in that split second I don't succeed in stunning my opponent, I either immediately transition to attack or exit and reposition for another attempt. Rarely do I worry about having my momentum taken away. The fact that I'm constantly moving quickly saves me from failed turtling attempts. Only when I make a mistake or when my opponent successfully bypasses my offense do I block to deflect. Otherwise, I'm blocking to attack. There is a highly sophisticated strategy of exiting this type of situation and regaining momentum. And it is called old man exits the zoo, a topic I might discuss in a future video. So the sense of touch principle of turtling is a part of the mindset of creating opportunities for yourself as opposed to waiting to receive them from others. It's about enforcing situations to make them favor you because your life shouldn't be in the hands of others, it should be in the hands of yourself. This is the true essence of turtle. This is the ultimate ideal of 
swordsmanship.